to me We would always stay this free And I would never let you go Cause of you Don't wanna waste another minute without you I will love you in the dark And if you ever Welcome back to our channel. Today we're doing a highly requested video and it is just explaining all of our tattoos. I guess we're gonna start with who got a tattoo first. That was you. Me? Yeah. No, I didn't know. Yeah, did. I think you. I got my first tattoo whenever I was 16, so I got mine before Garrick. Um, I got mine with my parents' approval and that is this one on my side. It says, the heart sees what's invisible to the eyes, and I got that from not a very reputable tattoo place. We were literally just like, okay, I'm 16, like, let's just go to the nearest tattoo shop. I didn't look at reviews, you know, I was young and dumb, and I didn't even really know what I wanted. That tattoo, obviously the words mean something to me, and I got it tattooed on my body for the rest of my life, but, like, it was literally just like a spur of the moment type of thing. This is how young and dumb I am. I got not one tattoo by this guy, but multiple tattoos from this guy. The tattoos aren't my favorite, like the work. I mean, they're obviously every tattoo that I have, not speaking for you, but every tattoo that I have is a memory and I wouldn't take it back for anything. Um, they're on my body for a reason, but I mean, like this tattoo guy wasn't the best if you know what I mean. I'll try to insert like better clips. We're not going to be able to show you every single one on camera because some of them are in like inappropriate areas. That's the tea on that. We shouldn't say inappropriate areas and just let you guys let, let your guys mind run free. We'll tell you guys where they are throughout this video. What's your what's yours? My first tattoo? We'll go like back and forth. So yeah, your first tattoo. Okay, so my first tattoo was this one. And this one says, Words fail, music speaks. I want to say first and foremost, all of my tattoos have a meaning behind them. Some of them may be even a double meaning, but this one in particular, music has been, just been a really big influence in my entire life. So my mom and dad, they were in a band together when I was young. So I was born right into that. My dad's always been a traveling musician ever since I can remember. He was in a band before I was born. So music has just been a big part of my life, like always. Music has gotten gotten me through like a lot of things in my life. So like, I don't know, I just have like a really different connection with music, I guess you could say. And you're really musically inclined. Yeah, I play drums, guitar, piano. Um, I tried to learn how to play the mandolin for a little bit. I like to mess around with the harmonica. And he has yeah. a really good voice and he's done like a lot of acoustic stuff, but right now you're really into like hip hop, R&B, like rap type of stuff. Go check out his Instagram below little self promo for you babe. Yeah, so I actually remember whenever he got this, he sent it to me, we were like talking back then, and he sent it to me, he's like, should I get this? Like, <laughs> it was your birthday, and I was mm -hmm. like, yeah, get it, and it was so cute. I remember so, you posted it on Instagram, and you are like, baby tattoo. Yes, the backstory on this, this is my first tattoo, this is not a shop tattoo, this was a home done tattoo. My next tattoo was not long after I got the one on my side that says, the heart sees what's invisible to the eyes. I got a tattoo with my best friend. So, I was 16, my friend was underage as well, and the same guy that did my first tattoo did my second tattoo and my third tattoo. He actually did it at his house because we didn't have either of our parents' permission or signature, which is like super illegal. Okay, so this says you, you see, see all, all my, my light, light. <laughs> and <laughs> you guys obviously see how bad and patchy that is. Like I said, this tattoo artist wasn't... But yeah, he wasn't great. He wasn't great. And my friend, she got, and you love all my dark. So it says you see all my light, and her says, and you love all my dark. Hers ha has a moon on it. Mine has a sun on it, um, but I never really got this touched up. I never got it touched just because, like, I don't know. It's just a memory, and it's a it's really bad. Like people will be like, well, "What does that say on your foot?" And I'm like, "Nothing. It says nothing." 
But yeah, I got that whenever I was 16 and that hurt so bad. I feel like we should talk about how bad each tattoo hurt too. Yeah. The side for me probably was the worst one. I don't know why I got my first tattoo on my ribs. I'm really dumb because it hurt so bad. I like, I was cursing at this guy. I was like, please stop. Like, I cannot do this. I was like, mom, why did you let me do this? It was awful. And then the second worst one was definitely my foot. My first one, um, I really didn't feel most of it, but like the outer parts were more painful than anything. But any everything in here was all um, fair game. Like I honestly didn't feel much. I just felt kind of like scratching, but like on the outsides, like where the S and like where the dub, the tip of the W and then like where the wing is on the music note, that that hurt. So my next tattoo. Next tattoo was this one, and it's just a moon with. I don't know, like a cloud and some stars. It was a traditional, it was the type of style that I was going for. I'm no longer really looking for that style. It's going to be more, I'm going to turn everything that's here into like negative space. I do, I do plan on keeping all the images on, that I have. I just, the, the little stars and stuff, it's going to look a little different. That one didn't hurt at all, actually. That one didn't hurt. I was there for that one. Yes, you were. It did not hurt. So my third tattoo would be the same day that I got this foot tattoo. <laughs> I'm like... Derek and I were actually together at the time. He lived in New York. I remember texting him like, yeah, I'm gonna get some tattoos tonight with my friends. What were you thinking? I was like, I don't, I don't remember. That was a long time ago, babe. Did I tell you? I what? probably was just like, dope. That's cool. Did like, I tell yeah. you what I was getting? Um, my lip? No, you didn't tell me. You just got it. Okay, so yeah, I guess I didn't tell him. But I got his initials on my lip. I've had to get it done multiple times because those of you that know tattoos... Um, your lip doesn't really stay permanently forever, I don't think. The first time I got it done, it started to fade, so I got it redone. So, <laughs> this is what it looks like. It says GVB, which is his initials. What did you think whenever I told you that I got that done? This girl down the ride. <laughs> did I text you or call you or like what? You sent me a picture and I was like, there's no, like what? That's not real. Like what? Oh my gosh. I was like, no way. You sharpied that in or something. That one didn't hurt at all to me. It actually felt kind of like weirdly good. What's your third one? So I got these two at the same time. So this one here, this is Zoe's lips. Yeah, we were really young. And so I remember going into the tattoo shop and Garrick and I were like, maybe we shouldn't tell this tattoo artist that it's my lips because a lot of tattoo artists won't tattoo like a girlfriend's oh name God, or, a girlfriend's, <laughs> or a girlfriend's lips or whatever. We told this tattoo artist that this was like his sister's lips and at the same time he got this tattoo, which is um, my name. See that? But yeah, that's it. That's my name, obviously. And I remember telling this tattoo artist, like, yeah, you were like, yeah, it's my sister's name. And she, like, looked at us like we were crazy because we were young. The lips um, hurt pretty bad because to get the red to stay in my skin, it wasn't wanting to stay at first. So she ended up switching to a different red ink that she had. And it was sticking a lot better. So she had to, like, go over it and over and over it. And, like, to get this look, she was, like, you can see it. She was scratching it mm -hmm. in. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but it's not outlined like the other ones it's like shaded on there it's hard to explain but basically how we achieved that look is her favorite lip gloss at the time that she was using which i can't even remember what it was but like you used it all the time i don't remember i don't remember what it was it was like the only one that you used i think you kissed like four sheets of paper until we got the perfect one and mm -hmm. then the way it looked was literally just like that. Like it looked exactly like that. It was a lighter pink, but we want the pink wasn't gonna stay. My next tattoo would be this on my shoulder, and I remember I got this whenever I was 17 because it was my birthday, and you got it for me for my birthday. Mm -hmm. I remember telling him like I just I really want this, and it matched his. So he has this yin yang, and we'll show you yes, that. Yes, I had gotten on. this actually already. Yeah, so I I just wanted something to like match him, and that's something that. We have just really believed in and we talk about a lot ever since we've been together. So I wanted this yin yang to match his and I also wanted a sunflower at the same time. And this is French writing and it says free your soul. And this one hurt like pretty bad. Do you remember me getting it? But I remember I was so scared because I don't know why. I was just scared to get it right here on my shoulder. I remember I brought my 
blanket at the time, my favorite blanket, into the tattoo shop with me for comfort. This tattoo was actually really expensive and they ripped me off. He paid like $250, like $300 for this. And I just feel like that's so overpriced for what it was, for what it is. Yeah, after the tip it was 300 Yeah, but I'll show you guys them up close. You can see like the yin yang and um, the sunflower and then the words coming out of it. Originally I wanted it to be like a lot bigger. I wanted the sunflower to like, kind of like cover this whole thing and then the words like be a lot bigger. But after he drew it out, he was like, yeah, well, if you want something that big, it's going to be like a ridiculous amount. Like, I think he quoted us like five or six hundred dollars, not yeah. the time. I just wanted it. So I was like, OK, like whatever. I don't feel like tattoos have to have a specific like like a huge drawn out meaning for you to get a tattoo or like the tattoos on your body. But I mean, most of my tattoos do have a meaning. The one on my foot, obviously, I got that done with my best friend. The one in my lip, obviously that has a really big meaning to it because that's your name. And this one, like I said, I wanted it to match his. I got this during like a, a hard part in my life, like kind of like a transitional part in my life. So basically I just wanted something to resemble that part of my life. So it just means like free your soul, acceptance is serenity and just kind of like be yourself. And so I got that memory always on me. So my next one was this one, and this is the breakdown of yin and yang. So if you guys don't necessarily know what that means, I w would suggest you look it up. It has a lot of meanings to it, actually. It really just depends on what you believe. But it, the gist of it is good and evil. So the last one that oh, I yeah. have, we got at the same time, so I guess we can show these like at the same time. We're not gonna show them on camera because they're on our butt. But um, basically, I just have his initials and he has my name and we did it on each other with this exact, um, what is this Tattoo called? Gun. Tattoo gun. So, what a memory. Yep. I remember it was in our first house. We did it on our bed. I was like, let me give you a tattoo. And you're like, let me give you a tattoo. And it's still there. Yeah, it's still there. We didn't do that out of the job. You also did one in my lip. Yeah. But it didn't stay. So she, I had her name in my lip, but it didn't stay. I know there was ink in my mouth like last year I saw it, but I didn't know yeah, it was still in there. So. Yeah, so right there, that's part of, I don't know what it's part of, but that's some ink in my lip. But that's what I mean by lip tattoos don't really last unless like you get them redone. Or unless you really know what you're doing also. Yeah, <laughs> and I did not know what I was doing. I was just kind of like, here, let me do it, and you let me do it. He has a few more to talk about, but that's pretty much all for me. I have a lot of like you on my body, babe. Mm -hmm. So don't ever leave me. I'm not leaving you, babe. Next up, what's the next one? Um, This one. So this one. Right here. So this is the date that my birth mother passed away. I chose to put that on my body. I think my next one, this is where I start getting into like doing my own tattoos. So I think the next one that I did was, was this one. Oh, that's a memory. All right, so I don't know if you can see that. It's a pyramid. No, it does not mean that I'm in the Illuminati. The meaning behind it is just one of my theories that I've just always had. We won't get into that. I'm not gonna get into video. that. No, maybe it, in another video we should talk yeah, about Yeah, maybe in another video I'll talk about yeah. conspiracies, but I don't necessarily believe or not believe any of my conspiracy theories. I just simply, I simply entertain them. They go in one ear, out the other. That's it. Like, no, but, not a crazy, like, oh, the world's flat. But if you guys want to hear Garrick's conspiracy theories, because he has a lot of stories and a lot of, like, interesting things, that so many of our friends like beg us, like, Garrett, please talk about it, please talk about it. So if you guys want to hear any of his like conspiracy theories yeah. or like things that have happened to him, comment below. Or if the comments are still disabled, go comment on our recent Instagram post, DM us, let us know what you guys want to see. Next one, all right, so this one. All right, so this is another one that I did. You were getting a lot better at tattooing at yes. that point. Yes. It's something that I've drawn pretty much every single day in all of my classes since I was probably 12. When I did it, it, it did hurt, but like, I'm super glad the placement that I put it at. I feel like if I would have done it in any of the other places where I've gotten tattoos from people, from other people, where that's less painful in my opinion, if I would have chosen any of those places where like it was really painful or where they did it, I would have not been able to have pulled through by myself. The one on my leg, um, this one, actually this one didn't hurt at all. 
I mean, I, probably because you were doing it. Yeah, yeah, I was really, I was really slow, really careful on this one. And obviously, you didn't have a heavy hand. If, if you guys could yeah, I did not have a heavy hand on this. I, I was this, this was literally the first tattoo that I've ever done on myself. So, I was really, honestly, I was scared. Like I didn't know like what I was doing. Like I didn't have the needle. Like, would you the ever right depth get it or anything covered up? Not covered up, but I do want to get it. Like I want to fix it. I think somewhere along the lines when I did this one. I also, I think it was the same night, I also did a cat, like an outline of a cat in UV ink. So like it only shows up if you have like a black light. And this was years ago, so we don't have a black light anymore. I honestly don't even know if... I don't think it's still I don't there. think it would still work, but I do still have UV ink, so I plan on using some of the UV ink and maybe like filling some of my tattoos. I think that'd be really cool. Yeah. Just in random places. My finger was another one. It, which this one actually looked really good. Oh, um, it looks so good! I remember it. So I don't know if y'all can see that or not. This one was actually I, I was really proud of this one. Yeah, that one looked so good. However, it's a finger tattoo, and this it was not good ink. I didn't use good ink. If I would use the ink that I had today, which I do plan on touching this up, fixing it, and it's gonna look a lot better. But I had the white. I made the white stay. It, would, it was literally black and white. It looked so good. And it's just been so long. I use my hands like literally all the time, so it's just faded away. You also have, I think you did this at the same time. He put. I put May thirteenth in here. There's still a little bit of ink. Which that's the day that we got married. You can barely, barely, barely see it, but it's like right in here. And that also looked really good, but it just over time it went away. That's not even really worth showing all because it's just a couple dots now. It's crazy how tattoos, some tattoos can fade yes. like that. Yes. Even if you get them done professionally, finger tattoos, they, they just, they fade away. That's just something that they do. Yeah, so, we're not trying to say, like, Garrick is, like, trying to be a tattoo artist. No, I'm not at all. Honestly, just, like, I was just bored, and, like, I just, I wanted tattoos. Like, yeah. we didn't really necessarily have the money to just go out and blow money on tattoos. So, I don't regret any of them, but, you know, we know that some of them, we were dumb, young, and whatever. But yeah. at the same time, like, they're memories. We, they're memories. My next tattoo was these so I got them at the same time it's the UFO with a little guy getting sucked up and then I got the rocket ship at the same time this was back still when I was going for that traditional look this is traditional work and a lot of you that don't know what that is probably are wondering why I have a third grade picture <laughs> drawn on my arm so that's back whenever I was like I was really into that traditional look I do plan on getting these all uh, more modern, modernized. I don't know how to really explain like that. And just kind of, kind of. I don't know. I just want to crisp them all up. But it's gonna be the same, same initial look. It's just gonna be darker and crisper and better, essentially. It's kind of another conspiracy. another conspiracy theory of how they, you know, we have people that go back and forth to say, did we or didn't we go to the moon? So that would be our rocket ship going to the moon or not We should to totally moon. do a whole separate video because that's just too much to talk about. And then obviously UFOs. I mean, that's like one of the biggest conspiracy theories out there. Um, I have some of my own experiences. We don't need to get into that. We but should talk about it. We should talk about it. But where the guy is, it's like darker. So like y'all saw the guy. So it's like he's just solid black. I could definitely feel that and I knew exactly what she was doing when she was doing it. And you can actually still feel him because he's so raised. Yeah. So you put a lot of ink into him, and I he's, feel you, little dude. he's never going anywhere. He's there forever. <laughs> she did the stars when I got the UFO and the rocket ship. My next one... Was, this is like cardio. <laughs> How I know. Get up and down. All right, so my next one was this one. Sorry about this angle. This is really hard to get this in the camera. It says Papa with angel wings and a halo over oh. the P. This one was the worst tattoo ever. Hurt like a mother. Yo mother hurts when she's slappy, you know what I'm talking about? It hurts so bad. Um, I, I remember like, I don't know, probably 20 minutes in, I just wanted it to be over with. It probably lasted over an hour or so. It hurt like super bad. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it was bad. Obviously the meaning behind that is, he's my grandfather, he passed away. I looked up to that man like no other. He taught me so much. He's a man of little words, but when he did have something to say, everyone was quiet and they listened because he was very wise. He was just an awesome grandfather, taught me so much, and I just, honestly, I don't know who I would be today without his influence in my life. So I thought it was very important to me to put him on my body. The feeling of this tattoo on my body, I'll never forget. It was that painful, awful. it was that awful, and it just, 
the fact that it was for him, like that just, it, it's, it was all worth it, so. Yeah, the ribs hurt it's, it, so it's bad. It's excruciating. <laughs> Like, honestly. people that say that it doesn't hurt, no, it feels like, so good. good for you. Like, like, honestly, good for you. You're probably lying, but good for you. <laughs> yeah, like, because I'm it happy hurts. for you. My spaceman, he is next. So, this was the next one. Um, this is something that I actually drew, like, all the time. When I was at school, I was never at school. Like, I was always drawing, daydreaming. I always thought there was something bigger out there, and, like, I just. I wanted to go into space like my whole life. It's not necessarily necessarily so much that I wanted to be like an astronaut. I wanted to witness other life out there. I wanted to I knew that there was more more to the world than just what's here. Like I just I've always felt a stronger connection, just something more and like space is is what's out there. So like whatever's beyond that is just something that I've always been interested in and so this is something that I always drew. You've you know. got to do a story time. Okay, so I forgot to say when I got this one I also got this and the the three or one two three four asteroids that are right here. So ignore all of this for one moment. My pain tolerance on the astronaut, for the most part, was pretty good. When she started doing um, the constellation back here, it was like stippling. So like that's how she had to do it. it was just when she was doing that, that kind of hurt like up in here. The planet on my forearm that didn't hurt at all, and then the asteroids they didn't hurt either. They this this area was really was really nice. And then my next one, this is a story. Story time. <laughs> so guys, I had a bunch of extra tattoo equipment. Basil, okay. Basil came to say hello. My coworker at the time, he's no longer my coworker now, but he told me he used to have a shop, or used to have a tattoo shop. He hadn't been ta doing tattoos in a while, but um, he said that, you know, he just wanted to get back into it and stuff like that. So he showed me a bunch of his old work and I liked it. I liked his stuff. He had a lot of good comments and a lot of good um, feedback on it. So I was like, hey, what the heck? I'll let this guy do a tattoo on me. So he wanted my, my old tattoo stuff. So we made a deal to give him the old tattoo stuff. And basically he said he would finish my sleeve for it. But after that one, I was like, mm, Yeah, after this one, no. I was like, no. <laughs> so basically I, we had been talking it up like all week. And I was going to start off with like easy stuff, like small words and stuff like that. And then... He was like, no, man, like, we should do, like, we should do this or we should do that. And, like, he just got me excited for, to, that, that he was really, you know, that he was going to be able to do some, like, really crazy work and, like, fill in the, my arm with everything that I wanted. So, you probably are wondering what the heck is going on right here. This is a crashed UFO, and it's right here. This, this is the lights. This is the cockpit. This is, this is the base of the UFO. And it's crashed into the ground right here. It's supposed to be smoke. This is like rocks, a tree. It's supposed to be smoke coming up out of the mountain, which looks like a bunch of squiggly lines. <laughs> and then over here is two people holding hands, walking up the mountain, basically, in the tree. And then some of the smoke looks fine. Like, some of it looks good. Like, I wish he would have just stopped right there. Like, I yeah. wish... And then I could have done something more there. But it is what it is. I plan on getting it... Um, touched up or fixed or covered if I have to. Yeah, also with that, he uh, he made little jokes about how he used to hide like little wieners in people's tattoos. And I was like, dude, if you do that to me, like I'm gonna be like, that this is on my body forever, that's messed up. So when he did all these squiggly lines, I didn't realize why he did the squiggly lines until I realized that he put one on me. Now this is very distinct, not hairs on it or anything, <laughs> but it's literally right here. Hang on, right here, here's the little, and there's the dangle bird. <laughs> Can y'all see that? This whole thing here starts from the bottom of the alien and goes up to this planet here. So the pla this planet, that planet, the spaceship, the alien. I got all that in one sitting um, and that was pretty painful. A lot of it was painful back there. Um, some of it wasn't, some of it was. Some of it, some of it felt good and some of it actually hurt. Like there was literally like opposite effects. And it was like that with a lot of my tattoos. Like some of the tattoos actually feel good, and then some of them literally you just want to quit. Um, and then the one that he did on my wrist, the my coworker, there wasn't a lot of pain to that one really. This was supposed to be like the 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 crashed UFO. It was supposed to be like an Area 51 theme, like where the UFO gets crashed and they like. There's supposed to be a lot more to it, and like it just didn't happen that way. Obviously, what we plan on doing from this point forward is finding a really good tattoo artist that's super reputable that has, you know, work that we can look at and 
you know, that we can trust and just have this one artist. Somebody that can, like, look at my sleeve and, like, be like, I know what to do. Envision something. Yeah, like, yeah. I know what to do. Um, so if you guys have any tattoo artists that you know of, let us know because we definitely plan on just sticking to one, one that we trust from now on. Oh, the one, this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this one is horrible, guys. So this one is a funny story, too. Like a very light star right here. The story to that is we got a sticker from Electrolux Tattoo Company, and it was a star. It was a nautical star, and I literally... <laughs> undid the sticker, stuck it to me. I don't even know what I was doing. I was just messing around. I was like, you know what? I'm going to outline that right now. <laughs> I just started tattooing it, and, like, it hurt so bad. I could not finish it. This was a horrible <laughs> place, especially to do it for yourself. I remember I was like, what are you doing? This was going to be f dedicated to my great-grandfather. He was in the war, and I was going to do, like, the American flag in it, and it was going to be, like, as if the star was like hovered over a certain portion of the flag, like to scale, like perfectly to scale. So that was that was that what that was gonna be, but that didn't happen. <laughs> All right, guys. So my last tattoo is on my face. Oh, here's the story on this tattoo. You guys are probably like, "What?" Uh, yes, I've had this for years. You guys are probably like, "I've never even seen it." What are you talking you about? Show it. Yeah. So I'm gonna show it to you guys here in a second. But the story on this is me and Zoe. We were living in our first apart or our first cottage together. She was in our room and I was out in the living room and I was wanting her to come out to the living room. I just, that's just where we spent a lot of the most of our time, like as a family. Well, there was just me and you at this point, but that, yeah. that was our family. Like that was us. Mm -hmm. We had cats and a dog and like yeah. that was, that was our family. That's just where we spent a lot of our time and I was messing with my tattoo stuff and I think I was actually doing this tattoo. I think I was touching this one up. You were sitting in the room and you were watching TV or something in the room and I was wanting you to come out to the living room. And you were like, no, 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 we were, I was trying to figure out what we wanted to eat for dinner. Oh. I was like, if you don't come out to the living room <laughs> right now, I'm going to put a tattoo on my face. And you, were, you didn't believe me. And I saw, I started hooking everything up and I started to turn the power on. And I was like, bing, 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 bing. So like when you hit the, the pedal, it like makes like a zzz, zzz, zzz. Yeah. Go listen to what a tattoo sounds like. You'll know what I'm talking about. I can't do it justice. Mm -hmm. But um, I was like, all right, I'm going to put a tattoo on my face. I remember I was like, no, it's not. Like So... This is what I did, guys. Nothing dramatic. I know it's still stupid, but hang on. There's like a bluish mark right here. That's it. It was done with the same really bad ink that I did there. I remember after you got that tattoo, we went to have dinner at like your parents' house or something, and your dad was like, let me get that blackhead. <laughs> yeah, my dad thought it was a blackhead, and I was just like trying to avoid him. Memories. All right, well, that is pretty much all of our tattoos. We really hope you enjoyed this video because it was, like I said, highly requested. We don't really normally do videos like this just because we're geared more towards like a family channel and we don't want to like throw it off with something you guys may not be interested in, but we had to because we wanted to film it and you guys wanted to see it. So here it is. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Madison Fums. <laughs> shout, shout out, out to, to you, you, girl. Madison Fums. We love you. Thank you so much for being a part of our clan, following along our journey. We love you. As always, we love you. That's what Garrett always says. We love you. We love you. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you have not already. Tickle that notification bell, please. So you guys don't miss any of our upcoming, exciting, new, great, eventful, upcoming videos. We'll see you in the next one.